Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews. Today we're checking out the 2023 Sea Chaser 20 HFC. This was on display earlier this year at Daytona Beach Boat Show. And I was very impressed with this boat, especially for its size. She's 20 foot on length and we're beamed just over 8 feet. I love that two-tone hull design. And this particular example was powered by a Mercury 150 horsepower outboard. And there's 52 gallons of fuel on board as well. This one was equipped with a lot of upgrades, that includes that boarding ladder that you see on the bathing platform. You've got trim tabs, this has got underwater lights, and it just has this presence of being a very high premium boat. And as a package deal at the boat show, this one was being offered with a twin axle magic tilt trailer as well. And one feature I like with this design is she's 100% fiberglass. There is no wood at all in the construction of this hull, so you don't have to worry about any rotten down the road. And as I make my way on board, I like the fact that as much as this is a centre console for fishing, it's got so much comfort and luxury, the entire family is going to enjoy having a day on the water. You see you've got close that telescopic boarding ladder. You also see that the backrests, they're also removable if you wanted to. There's plenty of rod holders built into the hull. We also have rod holders in the back of the centre console and of course on the T-top itself. Underneath the console, that's a 70 quart removable marine cooler. And I love how thick the padding is, whether it's the seat itself or the backrest, it's extremely comfortable to be on. And underneath these seats that line up the transom, there's storage, as well as battery access. And in this seat here, the storage is actually self-draining, so you could fill this full of ice if you wanted to. But you'll see that underneath the main seat, that's where we've got the battery isolator switch, the battery itself, and there's plenty more storage down here too. I also like how solid everything is when you open and close it. It doesn't feel like there's any flex or movement in it. It's a well-constructed boat, and for its size, I bet you it's very seaworthy. We also have a 25 gallon rear bait well, this has got LED lighting as well as air circulation. And I like the fact it's got that clear perspex lid, that way it's easy enough to see in without opening it. And as to the price point, the boat that you see here today was on offer for $69,915. On both sides of the hull, I like the fact there's as many rod holders, not only for when the boat's underway but also when you're towing the boat on the trailer. You see those large speakers, this stereo system throughout the boat. And the framework for the seating is solid. I love the fact there's as many handholds, so it's easy to walk around. And I like the padding that runs basically the entire length of the boat at your hip level. And that way you don't need to worry about getting banged into the side of the hull. You'll easily seat two adults up here. And you've got the footrest beneath the seat, but you've also got it at the bottom of the console. Up overhead, we've got more speakers. We've got lights built into here, if you're ever using the boat at night. You've got more storage, but you also see just how well constructed this T-top is. Now this one does have full engine instrumentation. I like the fact that the steering wheel has got a tilt effect to it, so you can adjust it whether you're sitting down or standing up. And there's plenty of space to install whatever fishing equipment or navigation equipment you prefer. Now inside the console, there's a bifold side entry door. You can use this for storage, but it does actually have a heads compartment in here as well. And then as we make our way up to the bow, again you see there's plenty of handholds. And then the bow is definitely multifunction. We've got all the cushions and seat in here that your family could relax and enjoy a day on the water. But you can also lift these up and use this as a fishing platform as well. And if you didn't want to crawl in that side door to get to the heads compartment, the front section of the console lifts up so there's easier access. But as well as being a heads compartment, this really would make great storage, especially for some of those seat cushions whenever the boat's not in use. And as you'll see on the screen in the front of the dash, part of the reason this one's got such a solid build quality to it is Sea Chaser is part of the Carolina Skiff family. You're looking at easily over 30 years of experience in the industry, and they're certainly one of the premium brands in the market. And I was fortunate enough to film several of them at the boat show, and I'll be bringing that to the channel very soon. And the cushions you see in the bow, obviously those are easily removable, but underneath those we do have large insulated storage. And for a boat that's only 20 foot in length, I like the fact that this one does have an anchor locker, and you could probably fit a windlass here as well. And as I pan the camera around, notice we've got drink holders on the side. We've also got pop-up cleats. I'm a big fan of pop-up cleats on fishing boats. That way you don't need to worry about your line getting snagged in anything when they're not in use. 
And it's just a very easy boat to walk around. I can imagine families enjoying many hours of a day out in the water. Whether you're into cruising, whether you're into fishing, whether you're into diving, there's just so many options available. But as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below, if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. And I'll look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.